Ugh, I'm so awful. I'm not doing anything right. <laughs> Was that the bumper to the next scene? Yeah. down. <laughs> I really need to help it make. I I really <laughs> look at the look on Sarah's face. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it's just Cthulhu. Yeah. <laughs> you always sneak up on me. Sorry, I thought I'd be used to it by now. Then <laughs> 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 says something about that leathery octopus skin. <laughs> I really need to make it up to her. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's like five notes. It's so easy to just duck away from conflict and wait for it to blow over, but that's not enough. <laughs> Sometimes you need to take matters into your own hands. John, 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 John. To truly respect someone's feelings after you've hurt them is to face them and admit your wrongdoing. Sorry, I was kind of slow on that one, but yeah, I, it's okay. I, just, I was like, oh, I'm fumbling with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Today's not about that anyway, right? It's about manga, so I hope you're ready. Now, this is called hentai. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cthulhu, calm down. <laughs> yes, there are a lot of tentacles, actually. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. I've got a brand new pair of roller skates. Ah. Yes. I'm going to change my wallpaper, dude. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Like this part of the episode? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, like, what do we what do we got going on here? What's going on? I don't reckon wait, go back to the what? Go back to these, the CGs. I don't remember some of these. These are from the actual game. Oh. Yeah. Who's who's tying up Sayori's necktie there? Um, that was on Sayori's path. Where I don't remember, but so yeah, somebody was like fixing up her little tie. Uh, yeah, I don't remember that. I use this as our backdrop. Oh, that's lovely. I like the music room. Yeah, right. Uh, set wallpaper. Boop. Yes. There we go. Oh, that's a good looking background. Right. I feel so free to create in this space. That's a badass movie. I wish my high school had that music room. Right. Fuck the literature club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where's where's Doki Doki Music Club? I wonder I wonder if the um the notation the music notation on the chalkboard is uh the theme song. Dun, 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 dun. Like I I don't know, I can't read music. Oh. <laughs> That's it, Aaron. You got it. <laughs> You can't read music? Every good boy does fine. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I'm sure if I sat down for, like, 20 minutes, I could be like, uh-huh, okay, da, 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 you know, that kind of thing. But, yeah. no, man, I I never had any reason to. Uh, piano? Yeah, <laughs> I don't play the piano. It's okay! While Natsuki is messing with the orientation of her manga in the closet shelves, Sayori approaches from behind and pulls her into an embrace. What? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> the Literature Club has been in full swing since Natsuki joined. Including her, the club is now comprised of four members. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, Monica, and Cthulhu. <laughs> Each club member had received a day in the spotlight to share all of their favorite kinds of literature with each other. Yes, even the Necronomicon. <laughs> Natsuki was first and shared her passion for manga. Then Sayori shared her love for poetry as well as how she gets, goes about writing it herself. The words. Monica, who has multiple literary interests, decided to focus her day on short stories. And finally... <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> and that, second to last, that was that was really the cross between Cthulhu and Tim Allen. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's like the alternate universe version of fucking home improvement. Can <laughs> find her. Yuri managed to demonstrate her obsession with fantasy with a little help and encouragement from Sayori. After the week was spent on their presentations, Monica decided to give the club members this next week to freely explore each other's literary interests. Sayori, having spent most of her time in the club so far with Yuri's fantasy books, is rather excited to begin her journey into Natsuki's manga collection. I want to read with you today. No, stay away from me. Tell me, which one should I pick? Number one. What? I'm fucking. <laughs> oh, well, that depends on the kind of stuff you like. I mean, there's like romance, drama, comedy, mystery, hentai, you know. <laughs> I like all of those things. I know, me Good, because they're all different forms of hentai. <laughs> <laughs> she only reaches out and pulls around. That's why I have to keep him in this closet. <laughs> Close the door! <laughs> Sayori reaches out and pulls a random book from the shelf and inspects the cover. Romantic hentai. Should this, should this girl be wearing more clothes? <laughs> That's hentai! <laughs> you, you wouldn't like that one. In a panic, Natsuki snatches the book from Sayori's hand, then replaces it on a shelf in a less conspicuous location. Okay, well, if you really have no preference, then let's just start with something that's easy to get into. See spot See spot run! Oh, I have something just for this. Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he looks like a kaiju! I know, right?! <laughs> God damn it. A lot of these don't start to get really good until like a few volumes in, and I wouldn't ask someone to make that kind of commitment unless they're already really into manga. I can handle it. I did it with Yuri's book at least. Well, these are better. I'm more considerate than that, although I'm kind of impressed by your attention span if you put that much effort into her books. No, I have the attention span of a donut. What? <laughs> uh, uh. But I love my friends, and I can do anything if it's for them. I mean, you'd kind of think a donut would have an incredibly long attention span because it wouldn't get distracted by anything else. <laughs> it just is a donut. <laughs> yeah, donut's like, look over there. What's that? Oh my god. Oh fuck. <laughs> well, okay then. I can't focus. <laughs> Being a donut is so hard. <laughs> Let's pick you something that even donuts can read. Nothing. I didn't say I was a donut. I just said I had the attention span of one. <laughs> oh, were you just trying to call me sweet? You're so cute. I cannot with this girl. No! How did you get to that conclusion? You don't, and don't call me that. A donut? C cute. Oh, how come? I just don't like it. I don't need a reason. Natsuki yanks a book from the shelf and closes the closet doors. If someone asks you to stop, then you just need to stop. People need to realize that. I, I'm sorry, I didn't- Ding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really didn't mean to hurt you. Nah, sorry. Ding. <laughs> it wasn't you. Natsuki shakes her head while pulling a second chair over to her desk. I was talking about something else. I was talking about other shit. I didn't mean to get angry all of a sudden. Natsuki averts her gaze and mumbles. You're like, well, like, a nice person, so, like, I wasn't talking about you. I still learned a valuable lesson. What are we talking about? <laughs> no. So we're talking about donuts. Donuts can read. <laughs> Say or <laughs> speak. <laughs> donuts have a very long attention span. I was a fool. A fool like a donut. Sayori speaks softly as well, feeling shy after receiving the unexpected compliment. Well, anyway, here's the book. So just start out whenever you feel like it. What's it about? I don't know, some fucking dragons or whatever. Well, it's like a comedy and there's romance too, obviously. It's hentai. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori looks at the title. It's called Love in Another World is Another Word for Luck. It's about a girl who keeps accidentally running into the same guys and then you find out like... Those well, guys are all different tentacles of a giant monster. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should just read it. But you have to tell me what you think. I can already guess who you're gonna ship yourself with. It would be so funny if I'm right. Ship? I don't get it. <laughs> Just who's the captain around here? <laughs> Why would I ship myself anywhere? <laughs> 
Can you even imagine the price of shipping and handling on a human body? <laughs> no, I don't have to. I mean, oh, it must be so expensive. Ah, oh, never mind. Let's not worry about that yet. Just make sure you tell me what you think. Oh, okay. I'll start then. Hey, maybe tomorrow we can do poetry too. Oh, um, give me the book back. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But don't you want to finish this first? Yeah, but we can do both. Fuck. I mean, unless you don't like poetry, <laughs> then it won't make you or anything. Um, no, it's just, well, never mind. I just don't like poetry. We can worry about it tomorrow. Wow. Tomorrow comes. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> After the meeting ends and Natsuki and Yuri leave, Monica strikes up a conversation with Sayori. I see you got Natsuki to share some of her manga with you. I really want to become better friends with her. She's so ex enthusiastic and expressive. Like when she told me to fuck off, she did it with so much enthusiasm. <laughs> wow, I love passion. I could just listen to her talk. She's so... <laughs> I'm not sure if she meant I can't say that to her or if I just can't say it at all. What is this, Ponty Pool? Say I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, look it up. <laughs> say what? Nothing. I am a woman of respect. Like the last mission. Respect. <laughs> but Natsuki is a woman of cute. <laughs> oh, I said it. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, what's so bad about that? I don't know. But you know, there's one thing I'm kind of worried about. <laughs> I don't know. Am I a donut? <laughs> <laughs> this TV said I might be a donut, and I thought I was a donut too. Do I look like a donut? I'm reducing. <laughs> <laughs> the hole is growing. <laughs> Sometimes I'm afraid that Natsuki actually doesn't like me very much. Oh, she doesn't. Oh, that's ridiculous. How come you feel that way? Well, I mean, just little signs, like how she says I don't like you, <laughs> and how she only says hi to me after I say hi to her first. And it feels like she only gets excited to talk to me when it's about manga and other stuff she likes. She just seems dismissive a lot. She's kind of an asshole. <laughs> I, I can't call her cute. Is it okay if I call her an asshole? <laughs> She's kind of like that when I brought up poetry. No, everybody gets like that when you bring up poetry. We all hate it. Yeah, but that doesn't mean she doesn't like you. She pro She's probably just shy, you know. Maybe. <laughs> My stupid head is just making me worry for no reason. It likes to do that. That's okay. Try not to worry so much. Everything will be great. But you can always talk to me about any concerns that you have. I'm here to help. You're the best. I've got two arms. I can help. <laughs> Sayori gives Monica a quick hug. <laughs> hug. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to keep trying because I love her and I want to get closer to her. Uh, oh, my God. I, I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> you, you, uh, you, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> because I love her and I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Uh, what? <laughs> After the next club meeting starts, Sayori is the last one in as usual. Trotting into the room, she sees Natsuki sitting alone by the closet, reading what must be manga. Without hesitation, Sayori pulls up a chair and plops herself down right next to Natsuki. Hello there. Hi. What you reading? Can I read it with you? Natsuki pulls the book away from Sayori. You can't just stare in the middle. There are spoilers. Besides, what about the one I gave you yesterday? Sorry, I was just curious. No. You can't be sorry. <laughs> well, anyway, I've just been waiting forever for this volume to come out. It just came out yesterday, so... Oh, that's exciting. Well, I'll let you read it then. Cutie. <laughs> 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 Can I sit next to you, though? Uh... As long as I don't get pulled into your gravitational cute. <laughs> Shh. Sayori plops herself down next to Natsuki, then pulls out a blank sheet of paper. I'm just gonna write loudly next to you, is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Does this bother you? Natsuki. Natsuki reads in silence, save for the periodic flutter of a page being released from beneath her thumb. From Sayori's side, only the light tapping noises of her pen meet the paper can be heard. Meeting the paper can be heard. They end. Time passes, as evidenced by the wipe. <laughs> Sayori's paper is filled with scribbles, and the margins are lined with stick figures. Natsuki lets out a deep sigh and closes her book. Did you finish? 
No, but that's a good stopping point. My head is swimming. I need a break. I'm gonna go for a swim. <laughs> Natsuki stretches her arms. I stretch my arms. Let's t pose. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you bored? No, I was writing. Oh, I saw all the stick figures and thought you were just bored. I just draw this when I'm thinking or waiting for inspiration or sitting next to someone cute. <laughs> I made friends with them all. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this one is sad because she thinks the night sky is pretty, but she can't look up at the stars in public without everyone thinking she's a weirdo. And this one has problems with his back, but the doctors can't figure out what's wrong with him. Ah! What the heck? <laughs> you're a weird. You're the weirdo. Want to read the poem I'm working on? Sure, I guess. Sayori slides the paper over to Natsuki. As Natsuki reads through the poem, she furrows her eyebrows. Mm. She slides the paper back over to Sayori. Not good! Don't you ever feel weird just sharing all of your thoughts and feelings like that? I mean, your poems are like really emotional. Is that bad? Well, no, it was just an observation. I think people can get closer to each other if they find ways of expressing their feelings. <laughs> I know you feel the same way, Cthulhu. <laughs> well, we don't all have emotion tentacles. <laughs> we can just transfer our emotions to each other. Some people need poetry. <laughs> <laughs> well. Natsuki begins to protest, but she can't find a good way of putting her thoughts into words. Doesn't that depend more on the kinds of friends you have? I don't know. To each their own, but I've never met anyone I feel comfortable sharing my poems with. N not that it's you, it's just how I am, so... You write poems? <laughs> Fuck. God, you're getting cuter by the second! <laughs> <laughs> you never told me that! I just thought you wrote other stuff! Yeah, that too, but... Yeah, wait, you write other stuff too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should... I mean, would you ever want to share? Like I said, I don't do that. But... Can we talk about something else? I'm sorry. <laughs> Ding. It's not your fault. It just makes me uncomfortable. I can't help it. Still, I'm sorry, Ding Ding. <laughs> it's fine. Right. You gonna apologize again? Well, let's move on to something else that makes us both happy and not sorry, Ding. <laughs> I should continue the book you gave me since I didn't get very far yet. Sure. This awkward conversation has been brought to you by Cthulhu. <laughs> Cthulhu 2024. Why vote for a lesser evil? <laughs> those, those are my favorite bumper stickers. Why vote for a lesser evil? Yeah, you've never seen those Cthulhu like no. political bumper stickers? No. Yeah, it's the best. Over the next few days, Sayori begins each club meeting by approaching Natsuki with unwavering enthusiasm. It's Natsuki! Hi! Okay. Natsuki! <laughs> nah, Natsuki! I really want to read your poem! At the end of one club meeting, Monica, who has become rather invested in Sayori's friendship mission, starts an innocuous conversation with Natsuki while she packs up. It's cool that you've been finding time to spend with Sayori. She was pretty excited for the chance to read manga with you. Yeah! I'm sure you've been enjoy I'm sure you've been enjoying the chance to share it too, right? Yeah, mostly. Hmm. Natsuki glances over her shoulder but doesn't reply further. She could be anywhere. <laughs> Just waiting to jump out and apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make a move. <laughs> she can't see you if you're not moving. What's on your mind? Nothing. I don't talk about people behind their backs. I mean, I want to, but... <laughs> oh. Nah, Natsuki falls silent, but she just fidgets instead of getting back to what she was doing as though she wants to say more. I just hate her! She's stupid! It's okay to share your feelings. That's different from talking about someone behind their back. I guess. I just hate when people talk about me behind my back, so I'm better than, to, so I'm better than to do it to others. I'm better than to do it to others. Maybe better than that to do it. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Monica shares a bright smile. Oh my god! I can't see! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Turn it down! Commence whitening. <laughs> <laughs> You're really considerate. Um, thanks, I guess, but it doesn't feel like it. You can trust me. Natsuki stands in silence for a moment, still fidgeting. Why don't you trust me? <laughs> I just feel smothered sometimes. 
I'm not used to someone being like all over me right after we meet. I mean, it's fun to hang out with her, but I just have no control over the pace. I can't just meet someone and instantly become best friends with them and like share everything about myself. That's not how it works. That's why I'm a horse girl. I control the pace. <laughs> We've moved from a trot to a canter. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to chill out sometimes. Uh oh, I didn't realize that was happening. Sorry. I... That's fine. Why would you have? <laughs> it's not like you have sensory detectors all over this room. <laughs> of course yeah, not. Yeah, that, no, that's wild. <laughs> just, I know, I just feel bad about it. I know Sayori, so I should have realized. Monica navigates through her tinge of guilt, which surfaced mainly due to her being the one who previously encouraged Sayori's behavior. Despite not knowing the situation, Monica can't help but feel a little responsible. Do you want me to talk to her about it? No, I wouldn't like that. Well, I could, I don't know, I could like divert her into another club activity for you or like lead her into a, a sarlacc pit or something. <laughs> no way, that would be so underhanded and mean. I'll just deconstruct her atomically then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ding. I didn't think of that one through. Besides, just because I complain about it doesn't mean I'm asking for someone to solve my problems for me. True. But seriously, can you help? I'm sorry. Ding. <laughs> I guess I just instinctively want to try to solve problems, even if I haven't been invited to. It's fine. Jeez, this is Doki Doki Therapy Club. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Could this be any more different than the original game? <laughs> I would talk to Sayori about it, but it would make things really weird between us. I feel like it would make her just constantly be afraid that she's bothering me, which she is. It's like that Simpsons episode of Itchy and Scratchy where like they, they're they forced to be nice to each other. And it's like, they love, they share, they share and love and share. Love, 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 share, share, share. Itchy and Scratchy show. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know how to just keep things natural. Well, I'm the last person you should ask about that. <laughs> I think if you have a good job expressing all... I think if you do a good job expressing all of your feelings, she would totally understand. Sayori really wants to be the best she can for other people. I think she would actually be happy that you want to approve your friendship with her. Maybe. Ugh, it just feels so dumb talking to someone about how to be friends with them. It's just weird and not cool. Monica shrugs. It's the literature club, not the friend club. <laughs> Then she mumbles something through a stifled laugh. And kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? It's not the cool club. Hey! <laughs> Sorry. Dang. That just trickled me. <laughs> that just tickled me for some reason. Look, I know that you're the kind of in a tough spot, and that is hard for you to really express yourself. And you're and you're, you're dumb and you're stupid and you don't know anything. <laughs> but you've really demonstrated to me that you're great at self-reflection and critical thinking, even if it doesn't feel like it to you. I think that's the most important part of being able to navigate through these things. So I... <laughs> and a great navigational system. <laughs> so I believe that you'll find the right thing to do. Well... Natsuki instinctively starts to reject the compliment, but she can't find any excuse to do so. Thanks. Natsuki gathers her things, then she finishes her thought in a mumble. Kill them all. <laughs> and maybe we should kill them all. <laughs> and I'm so glad I joined the club, even if it's weird sometimes. Monica smiles, but Natsuki turns her back and walks away before waiting for a reply. It was an unusual way for Natsuki to express her appreciation, but Monica knew what she meant. It made Monica feel like everything really was going to be okay. <laughs> I, We're I, gonna I, fucking die! <laughs> <laughs> yes, my plan is... Hap happening. All right. <laughs> Next time on Game Grubs. Oh, no, man. Wait, is this reflection? No, no. Okay. We're okay. It's the one before reflection. Yeah. Balance. The, the one next to it opens up. Okay. <clears throat> is, it, is it not next time on Game Grubs? Oh, no. Not even close. Oh, my God. It's lunchtime. Sayori, who usually buys her lunch, is making her way to the cafeteria like any other day. The clamor and bustle of the students is drowned by Sayori's impeccable skill of zoning out. However, her imagination is momentarily interrupted by the glimpse of a familiar pink-haired girl. You know what's really amazing? Yeah. In our first playthrough of Doki Doki Literature Club, mm -hmm. I was like, if, if we don't, you know, if the protagonist doesn't get to go out on a date, 
uh, it, it, this is going to be ridiculous. Like I thought, thought there was going to be some kind of like awesome, awesome twist like that. <clears throat> um, and then, and then they all died. Right. And, and it was so disturbing and I felt so bad for all the characters and all that. Mm -hmm. Now we have officially come full circle and I'm like, if someone doesn't fucking die soon, <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> That would be awesome if there was like a like a major twist and Monica was still Monica. Dude, I, I'm 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 really hoping that the last one that's entitled Self Love is like way over the top horror. <laughs> like like they really lull you in this time. Well see. Oh god, please. I don't get my hopes up. <laughs> I never run into the other club members around the school. In fact, I never run into anyone around the school. <laughs> yeah. Is this a school? <laughs> Natsuki! <laughs> We're in the back rooms. Sayori, Sayori stands on her tiptoes and waves. Natsuki is busy walking and chatting with her friends. Doesn't notice Sayori at first. Then she glances over in Sayori's direction. Ha! Sayori waves enthusiastically. Ha! Following her friends, Natsuki quickly ducks around the corner. Hey! She definitely saw me. Fred. <laughs> Maybe she just... Is saving up for a really big greeting. <laughs> <laughs> Next time she'll wave twice as hard. <laughs> mm, I do that sometimes. Mm, hi! <laughs> Monica is the first to arrive to the club meeting. Then Natsuki. Sayori, having glanced through the window to see Natsuki already inside, is unable to work enough courage to enter. Natsuki's been so distant with me. I was stupid to think she ever wanted to be friends. I'll apologize to her. She only got excited because she got to share a manga. But aside from that, she doesn't even like me. I should just go home today. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ding, but do you plan on going inside? No. Why? I'm sulking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sorry, Ding, for bothering you. Excuse me. Oh, oh, I'll stay then. Sorry, I was about to leave, dang. I, I don't want to go in. I'm afraid of bothering Natsuki. I mean, I don't want to go in. I'm afraid of bothering Natsuki. <laughs> oh, you definitely yeah. will. I'm sorry, I had lunch today, so I waved and called out to her, but instead of saying hi, she just ran away from me. Really? Sounds like there's some apologizing to be done. <laughs> hmm, not bad. <laughs> not bad. Hey! Sorry! Ding. I'm sorry! Ding. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm sorry! <laughs> it just, it sounded like something stupid that I would do from anxiety. <laughs> I eat too much of it. <laughs> from anxiety? Yeah, it's, it's the most important meal of the day. <laughs> well, I just don't like attention being drawn to myself. Oh, well that makes sense based on the person you are. The hell is that supposed to mean? You piece of shit, <laughs> but not sneaky as a child like that at all. I thought we were friends. But it feels like every day she's just trying to distance herself more instead of get closer. It makes me feel like she was only spending time with me during the club because I was reading manga. But she doesn't actually want to be friends with me. Uh, probably. Um, anyway, I gotta go. Well, I feel like I'm missing a lot of context <laughs> here. Uh, it's, uh, 4.30, so I better <laughs> get to bed. <laughs> was she in the middle of anything when you approached her? No, she was just walking with her friends, having a deep conversation, and looking like she didn't want to be interrupted. <laughs> with her friends? Oh yeah, she definitely hates you then. Yuri pauses for a moment. How do I put this? You're not her friend. <laughs> Sayori, you're very fond of your friends, right? You always want to be spending time with them. Of course, I don't think there's anything more important to me. Except maybe drugs. I, I do love drugs. <laughs> I mean, the best parts of my day are always with my friends. And when I'm doing drugs. Besides that, I really hate being alone, so drugs it is! <laughs> you hate being alone? No, oh, Sayori nods. <laughs> <laughs> We're very different people. I cherish my time alone. I wouldn't trade it for anything. In fact, <laughs> god damn you for talking to me. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I cherish my time alone. Get the hint? Hint. Hint. <laughs> <laughs> so I think... Well, you should probably be toddling off. <laughs> well, if I was trying to have alone time, and it was being threatened by an interruption, then... It would just not make me very happy. Yeah, but I don't see why we can't spend your alone time together! <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't have to do with Natsuki! She was already with her friends, not trying to be alone or anything! 
No, I think it's similar. It's, well, we're all friends in the club. But we have our own lives outside of the club as well. If you think about it, making new friends isn't some casual occurrence that happens on a daily basis. A friendship is an invitation to intertwine your lives together. Remember when I stabbed myself in the heart? <laughs> but the capacity at which each person is ready to do that might be different. There are friends who just like to have fun together, and others who talk every day and share every detail of their lives with each other. I think when establishing a friendship, oh, it's important to consider the comfort level of the other person. I have to go! <laughs> Boy, Sayori, I feel your facial expression. I mean, um. I mean, we don't really know much about Natsuki's life outside of the club. It could be that she simply needs to make friends at her own pace, rather than jump headfirst into a new commitment. But, but oh. that means that I really was bothering her? I just really wanted to be good friends with her, so I treated her like one. Was I actually hurting her? Yes. I don't know. I'm sorry. Dang. My insight was really only based on what I understand about my own needs. And Natsuki and I are completely different, so... Why was I so selfish? I don't know. Even if all that is true, it still means I hurt her! I think I messed up. <laughs> Yuri, with you, I think I was really careful to understand your needs when I was becoming friends with you. But I wasn't careful at all with Natsuki because she already seemed really social. Are we the most fragile people in the world? <laughs> <laughs> I just took control of everything instead of looking for the right balance. Oh no, a ball peen hammer! <laughs> <laughs> now I hurt her and she doesn't want to talk to me. How could I let myself do this? Um, um say say Ori. <laughs> Leave me alone, please. <laughs> I think that... I want to go hang out with Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, we, that's right. We do have that thing. <laughs> thank, thank you. <laughs> well, there was one time you told me something about the way I saw things in my head being different from reality. It's easy to automatically jump to the worst case scenario, but I think it's more likely that Natsuki doesn't harbor any ill feelings towards you. <laughs> when you convinced me about the things that I see in my head, then when you gave me those drugs, everything made sense. What were they cut with? Pure <laughs> Colombian heroin? I thought so. So if I think we're to realistically consider the situation and how it would cause someone to feel, um, I, I'm bad at this. I'm sorry. Ding. You're a lot better than me at things like comforting and reassuring people. Suddenly, Sayori gives Yuri a gentle hug. <laughs> um. <laughs> You're the best, Yuri! I'm sorry, Ding, for burdening you with this. You're trying so hard for me. You're such a sweetheart. I, I just... It's not a burden. I enjoy listening to others. And my friends deserve happiness. Sayori beams. Ah! <laughs> the beams! <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna give that Tuki some space. So she should do what she wants. And if she does still want to be friends, then I'll learn her needs, and I'll match her boundaries. And I'll follow her everywhere she goes, and I'll know everything about what she likes to eat, and what she likes to do, and when she goes to bed, and if she likes to get tucked in or not, if she likes to be watched. How will I fully understand her boundaries if I'm not constantly pushing them? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's what's best. I wish I didn't feel so awful and guilty. It makes me feel desperate, like I need to make it up to her by trying to make her happy. But that's not what she needs. I just have to tell myself that. It hurts, but I guess it means I still need to grow. Did I hurt myself? <laughs> I really want to grow as a person. If it's to be better for my friends, I want that. <laughs> I hate being five foot three. <laughs> That's very mature of you, Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't. I'm mature. Ah, yes, the thing a mature person would say. <laughs> Sayori hops up and down on her toes. So, does that mean you'll be going home after all? And leaving me alone? Please, God. <laughs> Sayori shakes her head. In which direction? Yeah. I need to be here to show her that I respect her space. <laughs> I'm gonna stand, like, right outside of her bubble so that she knows that I see her boundaries. Constantly remind her. <laughs> I'll just spend the club by myself today. Yuri nods in understanding. Uh, I guess I'm going home then. <laughs> you can go in first. Uh. Okay. Okay, Fred, you're blocking the door. <laughs> no, you're blocking the door. <laughs> oh. Sayori steps aside. By the way. Oh, God, what? 
before Yuri enters the club room, Sayori interjects. Obviously. You said that you and Natsuki are completely different, but I don't really think that's true. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I think you're actually really similar in a lot of ways. You're cute! <laughs> you breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri smiles and shakes her head. Sayori, that's absurd. You're very silly sometimes. Yuri turns and enters the club room. After a moment, Sayori follows. Did it smell like ass in here when we were here last time? <laughs> no, I think someone's been blowing ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> the club room is quiet. <laughs> when Sayori walks in, Natsuki glances in her direction. Sayori smiles and gives Natsuki a quick wave before sitting down across the room. I'm Clark. I come in and I fart in the bathrooms <laughs> and then I leave. Wait, did you girls use this room? Sorry. I've been farting in it like every day for the past three years. That was you? <laughs> I just thought there was a pipe loose or something. No, I fart. It was like an open sewage leak into the room. <laughs> nah, nah, that's just yeah, the that vegetables I eat. Those were Clark farts. <laughs> TM. Brand name. <laughs> Yuri's face is already buried in a book. You just, so Yuri decides it's best to continue the manga she was reading, was so she pulls it out. Buried in the yard. <laughs> oh, next time on Game Grumps. Oh my god, yeah. okay. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. <laughs> TTF, down to fish. <laughs>